This is Planet Pulse for Friday, August 5th. The moon shifts into Scorpio this morning. I'm Jeff Jower. And I'm Rick Levine. The moon shift into Scorpio today is an interesting one because it really resonates with harmonious aspects before it moves into Scorpio. While it's still in Libra, it forms a trine with Neptune. Uh, just backed into Aquarius. And then once it moves into Scorpio, it forms a trine with Mars having just moved into Cancer. And so we get kind of a grand trine energy, but we get it both from air and from water all mixed in together. Yeah, well, grand trines are harmonious relationships between planets, between three, among three planets, when air of intellect and water of emotion and feeling are involved, it perhaps represents being able to be more airy or intellectual about our emotions or feelings. But another thing that's going on today is there are elements of excess and control. That's clearly indicated by the moon in Scorpio. Scorpio is a sign of passion, but the passion that Scorpio is about can lead to dramatic expression or deep withholding, and we've got elements of both. The day starts with pleasure-loving Venus in an expansive square with excessive Jupiter, which is overreading, overdoing, overspending, overestimating, but but then the sun forms a harmonious angle with responsible Saturn adding some restraint. So I think it's going to be very interesting as to how we handle our appetites today. Yeah, I agree with you, Jeff. And yet I think we end up going overboard going anyhow. Overboard. I, yes. I mean, the, the sun does form that sextile with Saturn, um, you know, early morning. Uh, however, the moon moving through Scorpio by the end of the day, is forming an opposition with Jupiter in its opposite sign, Taurus. And I think, again, we come up to that point of where we can see what we want and we can forget that we have boundaries and we can take something too far. I'm Rick Levine. And for Planet Pulse, I'm Jeff Jower, inviting you to join Rick and me here tomorrow and every day to keep your thumb on the pulse of the planets.